Welcome back. What we're going to be doing now is getting the edge put on this here. It's a simple process. That's a homemade jig there. I just basically run it through my table saw at a 30 degree angle. Got the actual bevel on it. I run this thing back and forth several passes. Um, I don't mark the inside line. This is not a crafted piece of work that is 100% accurate. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to give you a cutting edge. Um, I run it by several times on both sides, keep the metal as cool as possible. Um, really doesn't matter at this point because I have not even hardened it, so it's not damaging anything or anything like that. You just don't want to remove too much stock. So just watch what you're doing real close. Once I get that basic edge, I'll come back and I freehand it. Then I touch it up with a file. It's not a precise cutting edge on this by no means. All right, here we go. We're actually doing the freehand now. What I did was I got the basic shape that I was actually going to need. Once I have that shape, I come back and I freehand it. I just basically eyeball this. This here is a knife that is made in a shop. Um, don't worry with it. Just work with it. You'll see it. You'll get the eyeball. You'll get the connection. Once you do that, then you're on your own. You'll just Cadillac with it. So just do it the best that you can do it, and remember it's yours. As you can see right here, that's just a rough edge basically put on it. I freehanded it. The blade has still not been hardened yet, so it'll come back. So once we get that cleaned up, you'll see a nice looking blade. I did not leave a point on it because these are for six year old children. Um, I didn't want a very sharp, sharp point to puncture anything like that. All right, it's forge time. What we're going to do here is just heat the blade. Notice how my finger goes across. That's pretty much all you have to get really hot. I'll show you a picture of one with a color so you can kind of determine it from there. Let's take the metal out there to your forge. Get it turned on. Get it ready. You're going to notice here that that coloring right there is just a slight temperature off of it. It really needs to be more of that yellowish tint. Um, it still worked out, turned out fine. It was just the distance that I had to go from one point to the next. Keep the blade as you put it in towards the tip and work it to the belly on the bottom of it. The top doesn't need to be hardened as much as the bottom. Well, that, my friend's process is out of the way. That is my son. He's telling you what I'm actually doing. The camera did not pick up the sound very well on it due to a fan. But basically, he's telling you that by quenching it with the oil, it hardens the metal and makes the blade very hard. Guys, so now they're hardened back. Put them back into the hard state. You can hear it as opposed to what it did sound like. That. And that's pretty much, I'm not no professional knife maker by no means. And this is just what I do for hobbies. 99% of these, well, probably 75% of these, I give away. They're not something that I charge folks for. I have some that I do make that I put a lot of time in it that is more craftier, but these are things that you can do in your building and your little shop, but you, three, 400 bucks worth of shop stuff. If you wanted to even spend that much, you can do it for less than that. But anyway, there they are. So now we're gonna get ready to start putting a little bit of an edge on them and then do our final sanding, grinding, smoothing, polishing, slap the handles in it. This is the process of bluing. Follow the instructions on your bluing kit. Um, they vary from each one of them. Most kits come with a solvent. Basically just wipe it on with a brush to get rid of any grease holes or anything of that nature. Generally you air dry it and wipe it off with a clean cloth, the solvent. Most kits, the bluing process, you just push it on there with a brush or anything like that, get a good amount on it, let it dry set for a few seconds, and then dip it in water to deactivate it. The more you put on there and the longer you let it set on it, the darker it does get. I found that you can get them pretty much midnight black if you want it that way. It's just up to you. Dip it in the water after you've let it set on for however long, and that stops the process. Dry it off, polish it up with a little cloth, and that's the color that you get. It's a nice dark blue tint. I put them in at 350 degrees. Set them in a toaster oven. I've been using that toaster oven for about two years now. It does great. I do it twice, 350 degrees for two hours the first time. The next time I do it for about an hour. I'll go ahead and leave the blue in on it, and then I come back and re-blue it once more for the second coat. So you can do it however you like, but that helps to temper it. 
to set the handles i basically i just pour the gorilla glue inside of it, it does expand three times be careful if you're using gorilla glue it does puff up the good thing is whatever comes out of the side you can clear it there is a trick if your handle is a little too loose you can take and shove a small piece of metal like a pin or anything down in there to help offset that it's just a little trick Apply just a small amount of the glue onto the actual handle to where the actual knife guard part's going to rest up against it. Once you've gotten that done, go ahead and insert the knife blade with a tang down inside of the hole that you had pre-done. Once you get that in, just take it and hit it upside down with the handle part facing down on the table. That helps to seat it. Once it's done that, turn it upside down in a vise like I've got showing in the picture there of the other one, and you're good. Well guys, you're actually finished up now. That is the knives, that's how they look. Um, I'll show you a little bit more on them in just a second. That's a sheath that I make for them. So I hope you enjoy this. These sheaths here are made to go into your belt loop and they kind of fit flush. You can actually carry them as a concealed if you wish to. So with that being said, I appreciate each and every one of your views on this right here. Like I said, everything that I make is stuff that you can do just a couple of bucks and a little bit of time but there it is hope you enjoy it i hope those three kids actually enjoy them well i know one of them will because i'm going to make him because he's mine so thanks again please like subscribe and share if you want to see more of these videos